Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 3. Now uh, in the previous episode we have almost met two uh, characters, two of the main characters. Uh, only one is left for introduction uh, and he seems like a pretty fun dude and I think I'm going to enjoy this episode because uh, the little bit of uh, portion that he, he was shown in the previous episode was quite funny and I really liked him. So yeah, I'm quite excited for this episode today. Um, yeah, let's get started without any further ado. And I'll be uh, putting the subtitles and the timer down here, sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, I'll start the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. So, uh, to pre prevent them from being Kishins, so they're like uh, training them so that don't they, they don't become like the other Kishins. <laughs> Technical school. And here it is. Let me see if I can find some new characters in this opening, like, um. Up until now, I can only see like, yeah, this is a new character, this guy, and this little penguin thing. Okay, I can see a few new characters here as well, that we have not met. This guy as well, uh, that person as well. This one as well, this one as well. Well, it's barely the start. Like, I'm only two episodes in. Okay. Okay, uh, someone robbing some plate. Oh, they're robbing souls. This guy must be uh, Kishin as well. And there is Death the Kid. Damn, that way of holding guns. <laughs> Lupin. And here comes our entrance. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a perfectionist, so. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, he ran away. <laughs> it, this is uh, Okabe Rintaro's voice. Mamoru Miyano. <laughs> yep. My god, this guy is <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love this voice actor like Mamoru Mian or uh, Okabe Rintaro's voice. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Pick <Pico Mia. laughs> Oh my god, these guys are hilarious. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Kind of. Oh, so he is already. A okay, okay. So they are like different weapons, okay. Okay. These are the quests and Yep. New working. The perfect boy. Okay, there. The traveling outside. <coughs> yeah, it's like an like a non-ending cycle yeah definitely Okay, they're going as well, I think. Yep. <laughs> okay. That's a handy little vehicle. Okay, so... The skateboard was these guys as well? Alright.
Yeah, this is like a little claustrophobic. <laughs> My god, her questions. <laughs> All right, that's a huge problem. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> oh my god, that's scary. Oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, oh my god, kid's gone. Did she really go back? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Well, priorities. Oh my. Oh yeah, they can do things like this as well. Yeah, that's quite a handy way. Oh my god. Uh Wow, they they're like uh, accustomed to <laughs> She's calling the big boss now. Oh my. The boss battle. Oh no. Well, that's what usually happens. Wait, did they really went away? Oh, okay, they went to uh, uh, Shinigami. Well, no luck. <laughs> he really came over here. Okay. Another funny thing is their personality is also not symmetrical, like they are like polar opposites to each other. <laughs>
Who is this guy? Some kind of teacher? Oh, home teacher. Okay. Okay, so uh, Kit is not a student. Wait a second. I thought they were like the skateboard. So, so they were not that skateboard. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's like a trap. It's gonna blow up, I think. My God! <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. That was easy. Oh my god. Yeah, must be something asymmetrical over here as well. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Or. Oh, symmetrical, okay. <laughs> His weakness, symmetrical things. Oh my god, this is like serious stuff here. Okay, this is bad. Is it symmetrical or asymmetrical? Let's see. Not symmetrical, I think. Mm, yep, definitely not symmetrical. And he's going down. <laughs> Nope, 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 completely not symmetrical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, he's leagues apart from those two, I think. 
uh, I mean uh, black star and soul he kept that uh, ornament thing intact <laughs> well and that's not symmetrical Oh my god. And <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of people. <laughs> and not symmetrical. Well, it's completed. Oh my god, that's a punishment. Well, Scythe Mister. Magic Scythe. Black Star and Subaki. Magic Arm, what? <clears throat> Thompson sisters, okay. Well, these are like introduction, uh, what do you call episodes? Well, that was fun. Um, we have been, uh, what do you call it, introduced to the main characters, and now probably they will go into the main story. Oof, that was fun. Ah. <laughs> this song. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that was the end. Yep. Okay, that was the end of Soul Eater episode number three. Now, a few things to talk about here. First of all, uh, kids, voice actor, Mamoru Miyano. I think it's Mamoru Miyano because uh, that uh, voice is like so unique. And uh, it's Okabe Nintaro's voice actor from uh, Science Kit and a lot of uh, characters like uh, from Zongwil and Saga, that producer. And uh, uh, his, his the way he does his voice is like so unique and everything. Like, uh, he, like it's so funny his, his how he does his voice acting and everything. And uh, a lot of people uh, love her. I also uh, love him, and uh, I also love him a lot. Like uh, he's one of the most unique voice actors. And here uh, we can see that that uh, that the kid's uh, personality and his voice matches perfectly. And uh, yeah, that was a bit surprise and that's a, I mean, a uh, welcome surprise. Like, uh, I really want to see more uh, uh, animes who, uh, characters who are voiced by uh, Mamoru Miyano. And, um, yeah, like, uh, uh, at first I was unable to recognize it because this is like, uh, this is a, a lot old anime and, uh, yeah. Uh, I like the fact that he's the one that is voicing in the kid because uh, kid's uh, personality, eccentric personality and everything and his funny type personality, goofy personality really matches with that voice. And uh, another thing is that um, uh, at the first, at the beginning when I saw like uh, 
um, kid uh, riding that what do you call that skateboard skateboard uh, uh, I thought that the skateboard were those girls like I thought the, those girls had another form uh, like uh, but uh, then I w when the girls were left behind at the uh, pyramid and uh, he went back uh, he was still r riding the skateboard so uh, I think that was wrong like uh, those girls were not the skateboards those girls were only the uh, guns and skateboards were some different kind of gadget I think or something um, yeah and um, what else uh, yeah the, the symmetry thing uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this was like um, I don't know the, this is like a really uh, uh, what do you call it uh, different type of uh, characteristic of uh, character has I mean uh, I've never seen a character uh, like this in any anime before like he's like extremely uh, I've seen perfectionists in anime before but <laughs> the way he fusses about being symmetric and stuff was quite funny and um, uh, I don't know if this is like connected to some kind of his backstory or not I'm I really not don't know that because usually uh, anime characters who has quirks like this like uh, eccentric quirks like these uh, kind of have a backstory behind it because uh, why they are do stuff like those or something like that uh, I don't know I, I don't know if this, is, if this is the case here as well but it might be and um, uh, if there is a backstory about why is so like uh, Mm, what do you call it? Why does he uh, like symmetry so much or fusses about symmetry so much? Uh, that that would be uh, I don't know. That would be r uh, really interesting. Like uh, if there is such a backstory, um, yeah, I really want to know why he like is this like a thing he uh, he is uh, fussing about from the birth or is it like uh, because of something? Yeah, we'll get to that uh, and we'll get to know that uh, I think later on or if they don't mention anything like that this is probably something that he has from the birth so yeah and um, the pistols uh, uh, what were they called they called uh, party uh, one of the girls was called party and another something and they called the thompson sisters and um, so they were like uh, i don't they called the, calling each other sisters and they look a lot similar to uh, um, um, i mean uh, they, they are a lot similar to each other their appearance and everything so um, I think they were like uh, the uh, Shinigami was saying. Uh, I mean, uh, Death was saying that uh, <coughs> you need uh, twice the amount of souls because you have two uh, weapons. So that means that they're not a set and uh, they're different, different uh, individuals. And that was uh, that was also the reason why uh, the sisters were able to wield each other. Like uh, they were like switching uh, their weapon forms, and uh, the other one was uh, uh, using the uh, weapon weapon and uh, that was the reason why well, like if they were like kind of like a set then that wouldn't have been possible so uh, I guess like uh, uh, I don't know how uh, the uh, the people here like the Meisters here finds their weapons like uh, I, saw, I saw that Maka was able to find uh, soul at probably uh, a bar I don't know he was like playing the piano or some kind of uh, other place I don't know uh, so I think they are like recruited uh, and uh, like um, I don't know I'm, I'm just guessing everything so uh, I would probably think uh, this was the case here, case here as well like um, the death the kid kind of recruited them as a set like uh, as both of them uh, they did, he did not uh, uh, separate them because like probably they were because sisters and another thing I'm uh, thinking about is if that the kid r really fusses so much about symmetry why did she choose these two girls like uh, they're like completely not symmetrical there must have been something like uh, why he chose uh, those two like uh, as he said before they're like different heights and their uh, sizes are also different uh, and another thing is their personality is completely the opposite to each other like one of them is like uh, fearless and uh, happy and uh, does not think about any anything uh, eccentric while the other one is calm uh, gets uh, uh, what do you call it, scared easily and uh, like uh, thinks everything uh, before doing it and uh, not eccentric so yeah they're like completely opposites and um, I'm really curious as to why uh, Kit chose them if he was so much fussy about uh, symmetry and stuff so there must be another backstory for that as well 
like uh, this is barely the third episode and i am <laughs> thinking of all the possibilities that could happen here and um, um, what else was in this episode um yeah nothing more i think yeah that was it like uh, they uh, we saw another new teacher here and um, yeah nothing else that was the episode and uh, i really liked uh, uh, like uh, he is most probably the um, what do you call it uh, the humorous side of uh, these characters like black star was uh, really uh, what do you call it uh, funny and uh, humorous as well maka and soul were like um, yeah they were kind of uh, like uh, but uh, kid has the comedy aspect of this show i can really uh, understand that well because uh, <laughs> because of its extent uh, eccentricity yeah that's the word extent eccentricity and uh, mm, yeah i really enjoyed this episode like uh, the previous episodes were like uh, they kind of like introduced them and this was fun as well i really liked the <laughs> uh, that uh, kind of eccentricity of uh, kid and um, yeah so yeah that was it that was this episode this is episode number 4 of um, uh, no sorry not 4 Uh, episode number 3 of uh, soul eater and uh, yeah i'll be back with another soul eater episode um after one day yeah like i'm doing uh, two episodes a week uh, today is the day i'm doing it uh, and the day after tomorrow i'll be doing it and uh, these two are the days that i'm doing, doing soul eater and um yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction uh, be sure to press the like button uh, subscribe if you're new or have not subscribed and comment down below whatever is your opinion about this episode anything just send it uh, comment down below and uh, yeah uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, uh, I, this is a really fun episode i really enjoyed this episode a lot more than the previous two episodes like uh, i'm starting to like this uh, series more and more as it goes on like this is really the third episode i know that there are a lot most stuff left we almost know nothing about the characters and everything else like the story building the uh, the main plot of the Uh, anime uh, the only the th- uh, thing that has been uh, said in the anime is that like they are like a uh, what do you call it uh, a school type of thing where they kind of train ma- masters and their uh, weapons to become uh, the strongest and they uh, do that uh, to stop them from being kishins i think they said like something like that and stop the other kishins and uh, well in a um, nutshell they are like as they said uh, uh, what do you call it Uh, an organization to stop uh, injustice or uh, not injustice to stop bad guys like um, uh, like an uh, like my hero academia that kind of thing so yeah uh, i'm really enjoying starting to like this uh, series and i think i the future episodes will kind of uh, make me more uh, make, make me like the the series more and i'm looking forward to it so yeah Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with another episode after one day. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.